Hey there, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Renee and this is my channel. Welcome to my curls. I love to cook. I cook almost every night for my family and if you could be in my house right now and smell the chicken that is roasting in my oven, it is to die for. But today's video is not about that chicken. It is about the side dish. This new side dish is going to be the star of anything that you cook and it is Brussels sprouts. Now, stay with me. Don't stop the video. Stay with me. Let me talk to you about some Brussels sprouts. Y'all, I was not a Brussels sprout person. I never even tried Brussels sprouts until about a year ago. I didn't want to. Just in my head, Brussels sprouts were something that I remember my mother boiling or steaming when I was growing up, or they were like a limp, just pale green in a bowl. I didn't care anything about it but this is the new Brussels sprout. I'm going to show you how to make Parmesan roasted Brussels sprouts, and it is going to change your world. It is so good. It is one of our family favorites, and I'm making it to go with our roasted chicken. So stay home and cook with me, and I'm going to show you how to do Parmesan roasted Brussels sprouts. So all you need for Parmesan roasted Brussels sprouts are a bag of Brussels sprouts, plain breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, onion powder, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. And we're not gonna measure anything, guys. We're just gonna kinda do this to taste and it's super easy. Okay, so get yourself a sharp paring knife and Brussels sprouts typically come in a bag just like this. So, Super simple what you're gonna do. See how Brussels sprouts have like a little stem on the end that holds the leaves together? We wanna cut that stem off, but we, we don't wanna go so far up into the Brussels sprout that our leaves fall off. So, just cut off the very end just like that. And if you have any discolored leaves on the outside, you can pull those off if you'd like. Lay your Brussels sprout down and cut it long ways. So you have two little baby Brussels sprouts and drop them in a bowl. So again, just cut off, see how that little end is maybe just a little discolored? Just cut off the tip end, pull off some of the leaves like that and cut it long ways down the center. So you have two halves, drop it in a bowl. Okay, that was the hardest part of this whole thing. Now we have a bowl of Brussels sprouts that are cut in half. So this is so easy, y'all are just gonna be amazed. So we're gonna take our bowl of Brussels sprouts. We're going to take olive oil and we're just gonna give them, I'm not measuring anything, I'm just gonna give them a good coat of olive oil a little sprinkle of onion powder, pepper, and salt. Don't go crazy with the salt because our Parmesan cheese 
is salty. So that's what my Brussels sprouts look like. Next, breadcrumbs, plain breadcrumbs. Just kind of pour them into the bowl like that. And I like a good amount of breadcrumbs. And my Parmesan cheese. Okay, then take your hands and just toss the sprouts. You wanna get them all coated in the olive oil and the breadcrumbs. And typically once I do that, I kind of have to hit them a second time with the olive oil once everything has been tossed. You want your breadcrumbs to soak up the oil just a little bit. And here's what it looks like. So you can see each, sorry, the kids are upstairs yelling, each Brussels sprout is coated in breadcrumbs. So to finish this off, take a little sheet pan, drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil just to kind of coat the bottom like that, and then put your Brussels sprouts on the sheet pan. Make sure you don't leave behind any of your breadcrumbs. Put them all in there. Now, kind of shake them around, and I like to turn my Brussels sprouts, the majority of them, you don't have to do them all, but just kind of put them face down. I think they cook better that way. And you don't want your Brussels sprouts piled up high. If you have more Brussels sprouts than this, then you need a bigger pan because you want a single layer of sprouts. Okay, there's my sprouts. Then the last thing we're gonna do is cover the sheet pan with foil. And this is super important that you cover your pan with foil. If you don't, then your breadcrumbs are going to brown faster than your Brussels sprouts are cooked. And you're gonna have burnt breadcrumbs and not cooked Brussels sprouts. So just cover your pan with foil, tuck it in at the edges real good so that the heat stays inside. We're gonna pop this in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes at about 400 degrees. Put them in the middle rack in your oven. Okay, so it's been 12 minutes. We're gonna check Ooh, our Brussels sprouts. Look at that. Look how bright green they are and they're soft. Just testing them with my fork. And I'm gonna stick them back in there and I'm gonna take the foil off for the last two to three minutes and brown up the breadcrumbs. Look at these Brussels sprouts. They are perfectly, perfectly soft. The breadcrumbs are brown. This is perfection. Wait until you taste these. So thank you for staying home to cook with me. My family is dying to eat. So Parmesan roasted Brussels sprouts will change your life. My family is dying to eat, so I gotta go. See you later.